What's up everybody, Steve here. I'm back at the Fort Lauderdale condo and uh, this is episode two of where we're at with the insurance claim. If you guys watched the other video, you guys know that I did receive a check that the insurance company sent to me and it wasn't anywhere close to the bids that I've received. Um, I'll put a link for you guys to check out that video if you haven't checked it out. The check for the, the first check that came in was $7,994. Now the bids that I was getting for um, the insurance claim, the, the contractor bids were roughly around $21,000. So um, I was contesting the amount of money, which obviously, you know, $8,000 compared to $21,000 is nowhere near what um, what I should be entitled to for for the insurance and the premium and so forth that I've been paying. Now, uh, in that other video too, you guys want to take a look at that because I did go through uh, tips on if you guys do have an insurance claim and something that you guys should watch if you guys are going through the same process because I can tell you it is a battle. Also in that video, I contested with the insurance agent saying, you know, this the, the amount that has been paid out is nowhere near what I need to finish this place. As you can see, um, you know, I do need basically a brand new kitchen here. So I'm working on that. Going to do a little bit of uh, manipulation over here. I did have the uh, plumber come in and, and outfit for washer and dryer. That is a concrete pillar there so we couldn't recess it in the wall there but uh, there's a lot of stuff that that needs to be done here and um, anyway that the amount that was cut you know they were hoping that I would just you know cash that check and basically shut my mouth and um, that was not the case of what I was gonna do again you guys have to fight for what you guys should deserve when you guys are battling these insurance companies because remember they're in the business to make money and they want to minimize their risk with the outlay going out. So she did contact the adjuster and explained that, um, that I was not satisfied with that check amount and I was persistent to say the least. Every other day I had it on my schedule to call or email her and I alternated until I received an answer. So I did get a phone call from the adjuster and um, he was a little confrontational and because uh, he didn't think that the flooring needs to be done and it does need to be done. And uh, so he said, okay, we're gonna prove everything. We're gonna prove the flooring and so forth. But um, one thing that he didn't agree with, which I agree in the bids that I've received uh, in the kitchen, there was for mica countertops and my my bids were for granite countertops so he said that we're gonna knock that amount off of the bid and um and, and basically send it through so he didn't say how much or anything like that so um this has been going on for a little bit uh you know from that last video till now it's it's a handful of weeks and then all of a sudden i receive a check in the mail i'm calling the insurance lady I'm, um, I'm basically saying that I'm going to go ahead and get my own adjuster if you guys don't respond to me. Um, I might have to get an attorney involved. So I went from being really nice and thankful to being more uh, persistent and a little more aggressive. Um, you know, I wanted to show them that I was going to take the necessary course of action to ensure that I received uh, payment. So. I did get that, uh, the initial check. The initial check was $7,994. And another check came in the, the mail of about 6,500. Now that's about 14,500, which were a lot closer to the bids that I received. And um, one thing that they did notate in there that they do a 10% withholding, and then I can get that 10%, so it's roughly about $1,500. I can get that 10% once I receive final invoices and receipts of everything being paid out. So roughly the entire amount is about $16,000. I did cash both of those checks and, um, and, and I'm, I'm definitely more satisfied. So the point I'm making with you guys is you have, to, you have to fight and you have to keep fighting and you have to be a pest because a lot of people, they're going to throw their hands up and they're going to give up. And uh, the, more, the more fight that you have in there, the more consistent and the more that you guys are a pest, the more likely that you guys are going to get the payout that you, guys, that you guys do demand and you guys will receive the payout. So 
all in all, everything worked out pretty well. I'm happy with the amounts that I did receive. Once we have all the receipts and invoices from the contractors, we'll submit them and, um, and try to get the other $1,500. And uh, it all worked out. I'm pretty happy at this point in time with, with everything. Um, also, I'm, I'm in the Fort Lauderdale condo right now. I did have another video on this condo. I'm not able to rent out. They're actually in the process of trying to change that on the board right now. Um, so it's gonna be on the ballot here coming up, which would be fantastic if I am able to rent it out. But I do have a really creative video on how I make money on this place without being able to rent it out. So you guys wanna check that out. I'll put that at the end of this video as well. And uh, anyway, as always, I appreciate you guys watching this. Check out those other videos and I'll see you on the next one. If you got any value out of this, I appreciate a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.